acknowledging his elevation to the exalted position, Deputy Governor Martins Babale urged him and members of the Christian community to see the honor as God's giving, hence the need for all Christians, irrespective of denomination, to join hands towards working in the Lord's vineyard. Let us thank God for your life, thank God for this wonderful achievement for the state, that now we have somebody, as rightly said, by the chairman, who can stand for us in Adamawa State. Everybody is happy here. The entire people of Adamawa State, the Christian community, even the Muslims are happy about this news. He called on Christians to be firm in spiritual activities and give the Archbishop the necessary support to enable him achieve the purpose for which he was elected. The Archbishop, Most Reverend Dr. Philippus Musa Panti, in appreciation, said the sufficient grace of God abound forever. He thanked all members of the Christian community and non-Christians who gathered to welcome him. 145 countries with over 75 million members around the world to be elected to provide leadership for uh, such uh, an organization and fellowship is indeed for us a great honor. And also, uh, we feel it's a great challenge. Uh, but by the grace of God, we will do our best. The state camp chairman, Bishop Mike Moses, who also acknowledged the appointment, called on the archbishop to embrace his people and discharge his duties in truth and honesty. In this country, and uh, the Christian community of Adama State is pleading with you to lay your voice on political matters, raise issues that pertain to Christian community in Nigeria as your equals are doing. Kate Aliuda, 2 6 News.